like to call the meeting order for the Central Drainage, September 14, 2015. The secretary want to let it uh, be known that Mr. Turner and Mr. Lambert, uh, I know Mr. Lambert's on vacation. Mr. Turner must be working. Mr. Dawson, would you please lead us in the invocation, followed by the pledge? Let us pray. Father, we again give you praise and glory for all the blessings you bestow upon us. We give you thanks, oh God, because so many times we forget to give you thanks over the little things. And as we come tonight, we pray for the Matassa family as their son recovers for, from the burns that they incurred at the the incident that happened at a local plant. We pray for his healing, we pray for his swift recovery, and we pray that you strengthen the family. We pray for the others that were also injured and that you minister to their families and, and aid in their healing as well. And as we are here tonight, we pray for your wisdom and guidance as we do the people business. We, we do not take that obligation lightly. We thank you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anyone wishing to speak on any agenda item, please sign in with Ms. Heather. We'll move on to number four, the acceptance of the minutes. Moved by Mr. Johnson, second by Mr. Kluwak. No opposition. Motion passed. On the uh, chairman's report, I'd uh, like to uh, talk with the uh, parish president uh, with the meeting that we have with the Corps. If you want to give a few words, please. Yes, we had a, I thought, was a real productive meeting with the Corps. I think that. Uh, uh, they gave us some timelines, and we met the timelines on the Laurel Ridge levy. So hopefully uh, we could get that permit as early as two to three months, and uh, that would be good with me if we could get it before December 31st. I'd be happy that if that happened. Uh, you know, we discussed uh, the other projects uh, we on uh, Frog Bayou and Alligator Bayou, and uh, they said that, that that should be able to, to go through rather quickly. That uh, shouldn't be a whole lot long as we can get the information to them. And I think Bill and them assembling that information. So uh, that project uh, looks really good uh, for the near future. So that's going to be uh, something exciting in that area if we can get that done. And just about all all the other projects uh, we talked about. Uh, and they said that they would work with us very closely and um, hopefully before the end of the year that we could uh, get permits on uh, most of those projects. So a uh, very productive meeting, I thought. And uh, Councilman uh, Lambert attended with me and Bill Rue and uh, Ken Dawson. So uh, as I said, we, we got a lot of information and uh, we sent them a lot of information. And uh, hopefully uh, if we can continue that relationship that we can get these permits done. Good, good job. Thank you, President. Like I said, it was very good. So some things all start happening very quick. So any uh, questions for the parish, President? Ms. Ms. Terry. And just my gratitude, Tommy. I, you know, we have been uh, really working hard to get this uh, the Frog Bayou project, Alligator Bayou Locks, uh, replaced and the things done on the Ridge Road, in the Ridge Road community that needed to be done, and I'm, I'm grateful. I, I had hoped for an October start date. Uh, it, it looks like we might be delayed a little bit from that, but not much, and uh, so I'm very excited. I thank you and Bill very much for your continued efforts, and, uh, and Jake, who's been a huge help to me from time to time with helping me to understand what was, uh, what was possible and what we needed to do. So I, I'm grateful and I appreciate it, and I thank you on behalf of the citizens who live on the Ridge. Thank you. Okay. No other questions. We'll move on to number six, the drains report. Mr. Root? Yeah, the parish president covered everything. Uh, 
basically it's stuff that's uh, new that's happening right now, uh, basically with the levy. You know, it's ongoing. The permit is uh, is moving forward now. Finally, same thing with Frog Bayou. Core has the permit for the Frog Bayou. Um, we have a little bit of work to do to get the seven hundred fifty thousand dollar FEMA grant for Frog Bayou, but we're pretty sure that we're going to get it. But we have to send some more information into FEMA to get that. We're hoping to be able to, be able to go ahead and buy most of the material now. But again, we have to wait on that 750000 for them to rubber stamp it and say it's approved before we actually go and buy the stuff. Um, the only other thing is uh, we've mentioned in the past about what we call the 214 plan, a program of the Corps of Engineers where we actually pay part of the salary of a Corps permit person to review our plans. And it looks like uh, that's going through. It's on a 30-day uh, public notice right now. And we're looking at when it gets off that 30 day, which is probably another three weeks, um, we'll probably sit down with the core people and negotiate how much we have to pay. Now, the good thing about it is that when we submit a <coughs> permit, uh, that person handles our permit first. And he doesn't quit until our permit has got to the point where he can get off of it. And that's, no matter how many permits we submit to him, he stays on our permits before working on anything else. Uh, which would be a big advantage too. We should uh, cut down the amount of time for permits uh, by 75 percent. So that would be a big asset going forward this year and next year in the future. So unless you have any particular uh, comments, uh, we can go to the rest of the agenda. No comment. Appreciate that, Mr. Rue. Mr. Kluwa. Mr. Rue. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I just share the same thoughts as the parish president, and I do most of this board that on our long reach levy extension that that, that gets moved too quickly, and uh, that we, we find a plan that can help everyone there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Bill, if you would like to, uh, or if you could, for the benefit of the folks back on the ridge, would you explain what's been happening back there now for the last? I guess about six weeks. Well, the main purpose is something that we're doing in-house so we're able to go back and do it uh, um, in, a, in a quick um, manner. The, what we're trying to do now is most of Ridge Road has a large ditch going alongside of it. That's where most of the flow from uh, the Spanish uh, Lake uh, School uh, all the way to the Bluff Swamp goes through that big ditch. I'm gonna call it, not calling it a channel, I'm going to just call it a big ditch. And what we are doing, we started several months ago, and we are continuing to, uh, to, to do, and we'll be doing for um, a few more months at least, is to clean that ditch first. Uh, then we're going to upgrade all of the coverts, all the driveway coverts and road crossings throughout that ditch. And in some cases, we, we're going to be realigning um, the ditch so you have a constant slope from one end to the other. So in some cases, we're going to be adding dirt to the <coughs> ditch to make a uniform slope. Uh, so it's a big job. We're going to make it a truly uh, something that uh, will uh, drain efficiently in the, in the future. And, 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 more, and as the, the, with the same amount of importance, the fact that they won't hold water uh, when it's in, during the dry part of the season. <coughs> right now, they've got pools of water even when it's dry. And so we're trying to change uh, all of that system. Uh, at the same time, uh, we're going through the permit to enlarge the locks with two 10 by 10 box covers. And it's going to be more of a bridge crossing type opening at Frog Bayou. And so when you get high water in that system um, in, in Bluff Swamp itself, and we have a lower level in Matt Bayou Manshack, we can open it up and get a better flow going out, a more constant, uh, efficient flow going out. So we can lower the level in Bluff Swamp while we're waiting to. Uh, uh, well, you know, the, the short amount of time that, that Bayou Manshack is, is down, we'll be able to get the most amount of water out of Bluff Swamp. We are also looking, and this is another separate permit, is to uh, do some uh, uh, cut of a, an opening in the ridge behind the southern part, the south part of, uh, of Ridge Road, which is behind Mr. Brown's house and through there. Uh, it's, there's a ridge that when high water uh, comes in, overflows across the ridge, fills that, that low area up. 
when the water goes down, it's not able to get back to Alligator Bayou where it wants to go or should go. So we're going to be doing a separate permit to put a cut in that area so we can get the water out. So this is something we've we've uh, we've been working on for quite a while, and again we uh, we moving on the uh, the um, the drainage improvements along the road itself with our own people, and that's why we're able to mobilize and work on it. Uh, the rest of it has to do with uh, contract work, so it's a different system. Or it's a different uh, procedure we have to go through to, to get that started. But Thank basically, you. that's what's happening over there. Thank you. I, I appreciate you, okay. you know, giving a full explanation of that for the benefit of those po folks who are listening. And certainly, I want to repeat again my, my gratitude to you for getting this stuff started and certainly for the work that has gone to the mm -hmm. core. <laughs> I'm grateful to know mm -hmm. that that permit is uh, fairly shortly to come. Uh, it's hard to pin mm -hmm. those dates down, and I, I apologize if I ever pinned a date down and we can't live up to it. But certainly we have uh, we've done everything we possibly could to try to uh, move this project forward as quickly as we possibly could. And I appreciate you and, and Jake and all mm -hmm. those who have helped, the parish president who's put a lot of uh, push on this. I, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. We thought we were going to have the permit uh, sooner. Uh, fact of the matter is we thought we were going to get by without a permit. Uh, for, for <laughs> because we're not building a, a levee, we're not building a dam there, we're not building floodgates. What we're doing is enlarging the floodgates that's already there, and we're putting it back more to, to the way it was 50 or 60 years ago. And the only thing, we're not impacting wetlands, but we are impacting what we call Section 10, which is Navigable River, uh, which is uh, uh, by Manshack. And so the permit we're actually going for is a Section 10 because we will be doing work in Bayou Manshack, and that's where the permit process comes in. So it's not going to be as bad as a wetlands permit, per se. Uh, the Section 10 is a little bit easier when you're going with a bulkhead or you're going with riprap you know, in the, within the, the bank line. So it should be an easier process. Thank you for all the work that has begun yeah. and certainly for the work that will be done in the future. I appreciate it. All right. Any other questions? If not, we'll move on to number seven, approval of a cooperative endeavor agreement. Mr. Rue? Yes, sir. As per our policy, uh, we like for approval of a cooperative endeavor agreement between East Ascension Gravity Drainage District Number 1 and Frank Frederick for the construction of a bulkhead whereby the drainage district provides the materials and Mr. Frederick provides the contract labor. Okay. Motion approved. Moved by Mr. Kluwak. Second. Second by Ms. Terry. Discussion? Not motion passed. Move on to number eight, approval of change order number four. Bill? Yes, sir. We're asking for approval of change order number four in the project DPW 10 018 Manshack Crossing Subdivision Manshack Lake Drive Drainage Improvements, BJEM Construction LLC. This is for the extension of time to 123115 and a change in scope. It's not a, uh, any more money. We're having a lot of problems in that subdivision with subsurface drainage, large concrete pipes that's uh, having some holes and, uh, <coughs> and becoming a uh, problem. And every time we fix one, we find another. And they have to change the scope to see how they can fix it more efficiently. So there's no change in money, just a change, additional time and a little bit scope change. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second by Mr. Sadley. Second. Second by Mr. Malonso. Discussion. Go ahead, Mr. Bill, what you have in, uh, you have in seepage around the joints? And everything. Around all the joints, and these are large pipe, but they're deep, and they're going uh, close to houses from the road back to the main drainage uh, system in the back, yeah. and that's back to a drainage <coughs> pond. That's yeah. important because that yeah. seems to be an ongoing problem. Too. That's not our first round with yeah. this. So you know, they dig it. down, they find something, and they, they change the plan because it, it's something they see that it's, they didn't expect. Okay. Thank you. Further discussion? Mr. Sadler. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Bill, just to be sure, I think we discussed this last time um, or a few times ago. We're taking a large pipe out and we're putting two in its place, but the capacity of drainage is going to be That's equal, equal to or superior. On this one, uh, in fact, this is where some of the scope has changed. They went down and they took another scoping of the, uh, of the pipe. And part of the change is actually going in and securing some of the joints that's already there. 
instead of removing a pipe, <coughs> okay. uh, pouring a, a collar around some of the joints, and they figured they could do it uh, better that way instead, and, and with less impact to the to the residents. So uh, the 48 RCP is going to remain in the ground. We stay, and we can see we're going to okay. pour a collar around, and uh, and see how that works, and we go from there. All right, thank you. Seeing no further discussion. Any opposition? None. Motion passed. Number nine, approval of change order number four. Yeah. We're asking for approval of change order number four, the uh, contract between CDM engineers and East Ascension Drainage District for the Henderson Bayou Pump Station. This is for a renewal and extension of time to December 31, 2015. We did not uh, 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 renew their contract in December for this year because we thought the contract, was, the project was just about over with. Since that time, we have had some uh, operational problems out there, leaking the gaskets and some other issues. And we have some other uh, issues with the contract with uh, Cajun on, because we still hold on their retainage and we have some issues we have to work through. So we ask him to renew that contract to the end of this year so we can have them assist us in, in uh, resolving some of these issues. So moved. Second. Okay. Moved by Mr. Johnson, second by Mr. Law. Any opposition to the motion? If not, motion passed. Thank you for that, uh, Bill. Move on to number 10, approval of an amendment. Go ahead, Bill. Yes, sir. Uh, we have, uh, as you know, contract truck drivers, uh, dump truck drivers. We're having a hard time getting enough of them. Uh, we have two contract drivers that we use a lot of, and they're getting close to that $30,000 limit. Uh, we're asking for approval of amendment to a professional service contract between Arthur Shake Snyder Sorry. Trucking and East Central Dr Drainage District for 2015. Annual compensation limit from 30000 to 49999 Moved by Mr. Kluwak, second. second by Mr. Terry. Discussion? Any opposition? Not motion passed. Number 11, another approval. Go ahead, Bill. Yes, sir. This is the same thing. An approval for the only amendment to professional service contract between Hallelujah Free Dirt Trucking and East Central Drainage District for the 2015 annual, comp <coughs> annual compensation limit from 30000 to 49999 So moved. Second. Second by Mr. Malonso. Second by Ms. Terry. Discussion? Mr. Kluwa? No. No discussion. Any opposition? If not, motion passed. Mr. President. Point that I don't know if any all of you had a chance to meet Cody Martin, but he's taking Lindsay's place on drainage and uh, also on planning and zoning. So he'll be uh, he'll be here for a while, hopefully. So <laughs> all right, Cody. Cody. Yeah. Welcome to your board, man. Thank you. Just, Mr. Gluwak. Yeah, just to revert back to number 10 or 11 and set my discussion with Mr. Rue is that we, all of us have had people with independent haulers that want to be on the list and that you know, there's times uh, apparently built, some of them that was put on the list, you can't get a hold to them or, or you know, they're busy. And so the standard was the 30,000. Mm -hmm. And just, just to finish this year out with the ones that are available, you got to bring these guys up. Yes, sir. Yeah, they, they, we have insurance limits that uh, was increased uh, and for his contract insurance, and some of the uh, drivers backed off because of extra expense. Uh, some of them are just are busy at the other jobs where they're making more money. So, but we did increase. We we brought an increase uh, a little bit over a year ago forward. Seventy-five dollars per hour, I think. To cover the offset in that insurance mm -hmm. change, mm -hmm. just still make it, you know. Competitive for them to work. That's all it is. And before we adjourn, I want to give the drainage department a, a big thanks. Uh, look, we all have challenges in our district. Uh, worst place, they really want to thank y'all for that, getting those uh, beaver dams out on the uh, Causey property. It's, uh, it's amazing what uh, what those little critters can do. <laughs> and uh, But I really want to thank y'all, Bill, and uh, Alan and Dana out there with, uh, you know, they had to get in deep on some of that stuff, and uh, mm -hmm. it really got the water back in the in the bank. So <coughs> thank you all. With that. Motion to adjourn. Moved to adjourn by Mr. Kluwak, second by Mr. Terry. We adjourn.